The 777-300 airplane is a high-capacity stretch version of the 777-200. The fuselage is 33 feet or 10 meters longer for a total length of 242 feet 4 inches or 73.8 meters. The maximum weights for the Dash 300 vary depending on engine thrust and customer options. Here are some typical weights. The flap limit speeds for the Dash 300 are also different from the Dash 200 and IGW airplanes. The engines are generally more powerful and each produce at least 90,000 pounds of takeoff thrust. The 777-300 is designed for routes up to 5,600 nautical miles or 10,370 kilometers. This map shows the typical range capability. The extended fuselage allows for additional seating and cargo space. 328 passengers can be accommodated in a three-class configuration and up to 550 seats are available with an all-economy configuration seating 10 abreast. Two overwing doors have been added to accommodate the additional passenger load. The door numbers have been resequenced so that doors 3 left and 3 right are now over the wing. Let's look at the differences in the overwing doors. The escape slides for the overwing doors are located in the wing to body fairing. If the escape slide door is not closed and locked, an ICAS advisory message displays. When doors 3 left or 3 right are open, the spoilers on the associated wing automatically stow in the down position for escape slide extension. The overwing slides are not rafts and should not be deployed in the event of a water landing. Door 3 left or 3 right may contain a separate life raft for ditching, depending on airline configuration. If a raft is installed, the respective door must be opened with the door mode select lever in the disarm or manual position to prevent slide deployment. As with the other doors, the evacuation slide automatically deploys when the passenger door is opened with the door mode select lever in the armed or automatic position. Open the overwing door number 3 left. Only the first part of the escape slide can be seen from the passenger door. An inflated barber pole is the visual indication that the remaining portion of the slide has inflated and is ready for use. If the slide fails to inflate automatically, a manual inflation handle is located in the upper aft portion of the door sill. To operate the manual inflation handle, pull down the cover. Pulling this handle inflates the slide manually. The 777-300 airplane has the same fuel system as the Dash 200 IGW airplane. The entire center tank wing box contains fuel. The left, right and center tanks contain a total of 302,900 pounds or 137,500 kilograms of fuel. As with the Dash 200 airplane, the fuel jettison system will jettison fuel from all tanks at the same time. However, main tank jettison can be delayed under certain conditions. When the airplane is heavy and loaded near the forward CG, fuel is jettisoned from the center tank first. This is to keep the CG within limits. The computed jettison time is automatically adjusted to reflect the increased jettison time if main tank jettison is delayed. The 777-300 is equipped with a tail skid.
The tail skid retracts and extends along with the landing gear and is connected to the center hydraulic system. If the tail skid position disagrees with the landing gear lever position, the ICAS advisory message tail skid appears. The flight crew for the 777-300 airplane sits more than 100 feet in front of the main landing gear wheels. A ground maneuver camera system helps the flight crew to determine taxiway and runway edge clearances during ground operations. Cameras are located in the leading edge of the stabilizer. These provide a direct view of the left and right main gear wheels during taxi. Note the stripes painted on the top of the wing. These stripes are placed directly over the outside edge of the main gear wheels to assist the pilot in locating the main gear wheels in adverse lighting conditions. The system automatically compensates for stabilizer position changes to keep the main gear in view at all times. The nose landing gear camera is located on the underside of the fuselage aft of the nose gear. All of the camera windows have window heat to prevent the formation of ice, frost, or condensation from blowing. The ground maneuver camera display can be viewed on any multifunction display. A camera display switch has been added to the display select panel. A camera display switch has also been added to the display select panel control page for use if the display select panel fails. Use either switch now to display the camera on the lower center MFD. All three camera views are displayed at once as a split screen color display on the selected MFD. The nose gear view is on the upper portion of the display. These are the main landing gear camera displays. The camera view can be especially helpful when making a 180 degree turn on the runway. The turning radius for the 777-300 has increased to 182 feet. Lights on the wings illuminate the main landing gear during night operations. The lights are located on the outboard flap support fairings. The light for the nose gear camera is installed on the aft side of the nose gear strut. Ground maneuver camera lights are turned on by this switch on the overhead panel. The camera lights are designed to be used during taxi operations. The lights will not illuminate unless the beacon is also on. Turn on the beacon. Now, turn on the camera lights. As on the 777-200, the current Mach number is digitally displayed below the airspeed tape when the current Mach number is greater than 0 .40. However, on the 777-300, when Mach is less than 0 .40, ground speed is displayed. When a transition occurs between the display of Mach and ground speed, the new display is highlighted for 10 seconds.